Uh, right now is our time of studying the Word of God and uh, let us prepare our cell phone. Do not disturb mode lang so that you can take down notes. Also, um, if you can bring notebook and, and uh, ball pen, no? so much better. Okay, so today is our first Fruit Sunday and as a church, we believe in these principles. My prayer is that you will continue to learn it. Years of learning no, maybe your faith in this area is uh, so. Maybe your faith in this area is the uh, shang level. No, just uh, take it no one step at a time to develop your faith in this area. Also of understanding the principles of first fruit. So for the past uh, maybe two Sundays ago. We have listened on this topic, and as a review today, no, for us, to, repetition is the mother of all learning, and it's important for us to understand these things. Let's open our Bible in uh, Exodus 23, 14 to 17. Exodus 23, 14 to 17. Three times a year, you are to celebrate a festival to me. Celebrate the Feast of Unleavened Bread for seven days. Eat bread without yeast, as I commanded you. Do this at the appointed time in the month of Abib. For in that month you came out of Egypt. No one is to appear before me empty-handed. Celebrate the feast of harvest with the first fruits of the crops you saw in your field. Celebrate the feast of ingathering at the end of the year when you gather in your crops from the field. Three times a year, all the men are to appear before the sovereign Lord. Holy Spirit, thank you that you are our teacher. I declare right now that the hearts and the mind of your people are open to understand your word and receive your word today. Thank you, God, for bringing us, Lord, into a position, oh God, of a blessed life in 2023. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. We have learned that these principles of appearing before God three times this year, it is a command to the Israelites. And we have learned that uh, this is really a law sa ilaang panahon. Today, we are under the New Testament and we are under the grace of God. We're not under the law. And uh, the very reason why we are following these principles, one truth is that the God who promised is the same God today. The God who said that I will do this in your life if you appear before me three times each year, he is the same God. Why we are following this principle? Because of the truth that the God whom we served is the God who is the same. Wa siya mausab. And ang kinaiya sa Dios when muingon sa sa yung word that if meaning conditional siya. Not all blessings in the Bible can be received sa yung mga anak by just praying. Again, not all blessings in the Bible will be received. So children of God, by just praying, by just asking. Example, can you pray for, for uh, can you pray that you will pass the exam and then dili ka mag-study? No. Meaning, in every prayer, there is an equal or equivalent hard work with it. There is always a partnership with God. Some people would say, mag lang ko. Like, can we pray for God's protection and then open our door during the night? No, because the devil is always waiting. It's always like that. You know, every night, my children and I would pray, we command warrior angels to surround the church and the houses of our people that no works of darkness could enter in. But that prayer would be null and void when we open our door, right? So it's important really uh, to, to not a role to play in everything. And appearing before God three times each year is one of the secrets of a blessed life. These are keys in the kingdom. Jesus is saying, I have given to you keys, meaning there are many keys in entering into the kingdom. When you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you are now sure that you're a child of God. When you die, you will go to heaven. But the process from day one that you receive Jesus until you die, the quality of life that you want to live depends on you. 
There, there could be two people today who accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior. And then one or person A is not hardworking, tapulan. And person B is hardworking. They are both Christians. I tell you, they will have a very different quality of life. So hard work and laziness are two major things that the Bible is teaching. Another example, person A is kugihan and grabi ka giver, not just a church but giver siya as a person. What will happen? Ingon ang Bible, when you give, you will receive. The key to receiving more is giving more. And person A, for example, is a hardworking person and a giver. And person B, for example, is lazy and, and of course, tingy, kanang hakog, or inot. What will happen? They will have a different quality of life. But both people will go to heaven when, we, when they both die. The principles of the perverse fruits is one of the secrets to the life that we dreamed of. One of the, because there are so many. Now, the Bible says, uh, appear before me three times each year. As a church, we appear before God today in February, uh, first Sunday of February, and give our first fruits to the Lord. Asa man ato, kwao na tong first fruit, gikan sa tong January nga income. Gikan sa income. If you don't have an income in January, you don't have a first fruit. First fruit would always come from an income or from something that you saved of. Imua. No? Imuang tinigom or imuang kwarta. Dili siya pwede binailo. No, there are people no na ma-pressure sa first fruit. Ugwa yung ka ihatag igsoon, ayaw ughatag. And everyone say, let giving not be something that we do out of compulsion. In 2 Corinthians, the Bible says, God loves a cheerful giver. Ay hara ka ma cheerful igsoon kung excited ka sa imuang blessing to come. Dili ka mahimong cheerful when you don't understand the principle. Kung para sa imo hatag-hatag ra siya, maguuli mong heart. Pero kung nakasabot ka sa principle behind it, ama cheerful ka eh. Amen. And today I would like to review also the the principle once again in Romans chapter 11 verse 16. If the first part of the dough offered as first fruits is holy, then the whole batch is holy. If the root is holy, so are the branches. The first represents the total. If the first batch of the dough is offered as first fruit, then the whole batch becomes holy. If you as an individual, as a child of God, would make that decision, tagatuig mag first fruit you go, for example, nakasabot na ka. No, uh, some people it would be it would be taking time to understand this principle, but some people would really understand it immediately. No, depende ragid na sa tao exoon. But if you're if you're this person who understand first fruit, and then you would say, for example, I would give my first fruit, my sacrificial offering to God, meaning dili siya basta basta nga offering kay sacrificial man. Ipalit unta to ni mong something, no, out of your income sa January, but because na ay first fruits, nag-delayed gratification sa ka. Di sa karon, Okay? Kay mag first fruit pa mi. Now, when you understand first fruit offering, it is, the Bible in Romans say, is saying, it becomes holy. Whatever you set up as your first fruit becomes holy. And because holy ang imong first fruit, the whole batch of the dough will be holy. Nagkuha kag first fruit offering out from your January income. Kabalo ba mo na mahimo na siyang holy before God? And your February to December income now becomes holy as well. And whatever is holy, the enemy cannot destroy it. The enemy cannot uh, kill it. No, A lot of times, Ang atong panginabuhian, mo na siya'y target sa kaaway. And ang ato ang source of income or health na to, no? mo nang mayingan sila health is wealth. Okay? Because ikaw mismo ang puhunan. Kung di na ka makatrabaho, mahimong ma makwaan ang imong source of income. Kana kung naa kay investments na gadagan, business na gadagan, bisan pag di ka katrabaho, naagya pong kay income. But what if, no? 
wala pa ta anak nga punto na bahalag di ka katrabaho na ang kay income. No? So, buhunan yun nato ay sa atong lawas. And uh, atong, atong, atong tanaw na when we understand the first fruit principle, the I, God will make your whole year income holy. Tipigan sa Diyos imong tibuot, tibuok nga income. And uh, the Bible is uh, saying also that Jesus, in Romans chapter 8, verse 29, For whom he did for new, he also did predestinate to be confirmed to the image of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Jesus is the first fruit, ingon ang Bible, and uh, he's the firstborn of all brethren. Siya ang natawo na matay ug nabanhaw. Tungod kay ingon ang Bible si Jesus ang first fruit, igsuon when you die, you have the assurance that you will also be risen. Naay resurrection of the dead because Jesus was the first fruit of all who died and was resurrected. Meaning exod ang first fruit pinakauna siya sa imo ang uh, promised na blessing. Pinakauna nga imong buhaton that would determine the course of your year. Ing ana ka importante ang first fruit. Determining point siya, determining factor siya kung maunsa imong tibuok tuig. I'm having a hard time teaching this to my children because of course they're not listening here in uh, Basta Sunday kay naa sila sa silong. So ang mami now is si Kuya, no? Si Kuya Shay na kung eldest because uh, youth naman siya. And somehow he understand it because nagtudlo ko in the past Sundays. And he made that decision. Ngayon siya mama, uh, I I now understand first fruit and I will give my first fruit mama, no? And though he he said the amount, mao ni akong ihatag mama. And it's young savings for December nga mga gihatag sa iya and January nga, nga kung ano niya tinigo. Mauning nga amount ako yung hatag mama. And I'm having a hard time teaching this to my two kids, 10 and 8 years old. I'm teaching it no, pag mag, mag story yami. And of course, Gabriel is very, kailan natang Gabriel, no? Kung ano na siya, mag-question yun na siya. Ano siya nga mama? Tinigom ko na. Unya, dahil i-offer na ako. Ano, yun siya. Hayay kay church. Oh, diba? Gabriel would speak of the majority of people. <laughs> Ana siya nga, Ma, wak bi ako ni snack, ma, para lang makatigom. Ah, no? And I understand his heart. I listen to him. Ma, di ba wala bi ako ni palit og brand new shoes kay akong gitigom kay gusto gi ko katong mahal nga shoes akong paliton soon. Pag mo come up na siya with the right amount. And I listen to him and I said, yeah, but you know anak, first fruit would determine your year. And and I shared to him the promises of the first fruit. And one of the promises of first fruit, ingon si God, I will drive out your competitors. Exodus 23, I will drive out your competitors. Siga iyang mata. Ano siya? Really? Si God will fight for me? Yes. And, uh, and uh, you know, ano siya nga, pila ang ihatag ni kuya. And I said the amount. Because before siya nangutan na pila ang ihatag ni kuya ni siya, okay mama, I will give, no? ayang giingon nga amount is just kaya ra niya gastuon pag mag-snack siya. So, ana siya, kana ako yung first fruit mama. no? Uh, I will give 300, mas my first fruit, ana siya. So ana ko siya, okay. Then siya, mama, nga no man na yung ana imong face na dili ko excited, ana ko siya, because... Kabalo ko, dili kay ka masakitan sa mount na yung gihatag. Kinahangnan yun ay ko nga masakitan? Anas ya? Ana ko nga ma... Ay ko, nak. Kana man kong muhatag kag best sakit. Ano siya? Ay, lahi na na ma. Lisod kay na hatag ma. Uy. Ay ko siya, do you love the Lord? So of course. Kabalo biya ka ma, I love the Lord. Ana ko, can you give this amount to the Lord? Ako'y nagset sa amount. What? No way. <laughs> I know nak masakitan ka ani nga amount. Ano siya? No way. Kaila ko na jud siya. Ay siya nga. Adi ko oy kay kuan imura kong gipugos iko okay. Ayaw la give karon. Next first fruit na lang kanang maka-understand na ka anak. Ano siya? Okay, wala na to. And then Kuya Shane said na, you know, akong ihatag kay Mauni. And I'm very excited that this year bahalang mag-absent ko mag-top gihapon ko sa class. Ana siya. 
Kay bahalag mag, kay ana naman minak murag maka-absent bayo kana kay usahay ra naay mong papa ba at least man lang makasuroy tagas a. Paabsino na mo siya di man mo absent kay di pwede sa IDS mo absent. Ana mi absent na gurak isa ka adlaw maguol di magtap engko magtap lagi ka. O, tawang saad sa Ginoo pagtuon lang. Pero ay I mean, dili nang di mo absent para di mag no pagtuon lang gyud along the exams. Di man po ka mo absent absent during exams. Ana siya nga di gyud siya ka absino ni ka mabilin gyud ka. Ana ka niya no kay ah, kagayan ra gyud niya maski kagayan ra mo adto absinan bi gyud niya no kay di man jud ko pwedeng Saturday. Di pa ko pwedeng Sunday. So Monday man akong rest day. So sila tanan mag-adjust. No kay mo man akong rest day Monday. So uh, mo na nga ana ana si Shayna Excited siya, niingon siya siya mga igsuo na, you know, I am very excited mag-first fruit ko. Kani ako ihatag. Ha? Ano si Gab? Ha? Mama, mag-first fruit po ko ma. Dili ko next year. Makaroon ko nga year. <laughs> Ay siya nga, dili ko dahi tamagan si Manu when we give to God. Na-change ang heart sa manghod. Di di ako ang makakonvince. Ang iya ra pong igsuo. No? Bata ra po. Magkasinabot sila. No? So, you know, These are secrets in the kingdom. A lot of times, kanang, we think nga kanang bilar ka ika, hago ka ika, alam mo, split na ka ba? <laughs> para lang matag, para makita ni mo yung mga damgo. And there are people na chill lang. Nakasabot sila sa first fruit. Hard work, mo split gihapon kung ginang na pa split, no? Hard working gihapon, pero igsoon lahi. Na I mean, lahi kaayo ang quality of life sa tao nga nakasabot unsa iyang part sa kingdom. Naagya po yung problema, Pagsulay, dili matay exempted da na. Pero igsuon, grabe kalahi ang quality of life. Now, the promise to those who give their first fruit to God is um, one of the... Uh, ako siyang gi ko ano, ako siyang gi... One of the... Uh, there are seven promises in the Bible, no? That speaks of the first fruit. And um, I, I, I would encourage you today to release your faith. If you cannot give your first fruit this year, sama sa giingon ako sa kong anak, I am praying that you can give next year. No, and um, But open your heart and open your mind with these uh, principles. Because again, you are very blessed. Kanabitang bata pa kay ka, natudluan na ka ani, blessed you kay ka. Mogi ni siya akong challenge. Kung sudyante ka today, and natudluan ka ani, sacrificial giving ni siya, yes. But this will position you into the life that you dream of. And the Bible would always, it is always kanang truth siya ba. And depende siya sa tao kung morispan siya sa, sa, sa gitudlo, sa pulong sa Diyos. In Exodus 23 verse uh, 20, the Bible says, See, I am sending an angel before you to protect you on your journey and lead you safely to the place I have prepared for you. When you give your first fruits to the Lord and your mid-year thanksgiving and your year-end thanksgiving, no, ingon ang pulong sa Diyos, kung buhato ni mo ni mo, appear ka before God three times each year, I will be sending an angel to protect you and to lead you safely to your destiny. Did you know that the richest place on earth is Asaman, the cemetery, ang lubganan? Because there are people who died not fulfilling their God-given destiny. They died working, working hard, yet not fulfilling their God-given destiny. They miss out the very destiny that God has uh, destined for them because of fear, because of lack of mentors, and because of lack of teachers, and probably because of a very stubborn nga kasing-kasing. And... Um, The Bible declares that if you will appear before God three times each year, He will send an angel to protect you and to lead you safely to where you should go. And kung imo gina siyang sabto ni Gzoon, that's very powerful today. Aside from an angel, we understand that today we have the Holy Spirit with us. The Holy Spirit is in us, meaning... When, when God is in you, He's Emmanuel. I am in you. I am with you always. In everything that you do, na ay mag-guide sa imong decision making. You're connected with God. Nga mang giving monetarily, money. Nga mang ang paghatag o kwarta for the kingdom of God. Dako mang kasyag ka-importansya. 
Because money is precious to human. Money is something that we think atua. We look at money as mine. This is my money. Like we look at money because money is very precious kay gibilaran, gisingutan, gihaguan. And we really look at money as ako. I am praying that you will shift your mindset into looking at money as dili ato, but gipiyal sa ato. You're a manager of that money. You're a steward of that money. Na ay owner, ana, si Jesus. The owner says that I will open door for you for you to invest in this and that. I will open door for you for you to have this much income. The owner says, I will give you wisdom. I will give you knowledge, opportunities, people to connect with so that you will have this money. The owner says, manage this money well. Tenth of that, balik ni mo sa owner. Dili na siya, uh, dili na siya ka ng questionable. Kay, tag-iya man siya. Aningon siya, tenth of your money, ako na. 90% tarunga gasto. Tarunga manage. The first fruit, kwaon ni mo siya from your 90%. Every first uh, sugod sa tuig. From your 90% ni mo kwaon ni mong first fruit. And that is how the owner of the money is setting up your, our finances. And the Bible is declaring, I will make sure that you will arrive safely to the place where you should go. Another promised blessing of the Lord is that I will bless you with food and water and I will protect you from illness or I will take away illnesses from among you. This is a very important blessing, promised blessing from God that He would bless our food and our water. Most sickness comes from food and water. And when the blessing of God rests on our food and our water, It's you will be able to work well or manage your business well or enjoy life because you will enjoy health. I will bless you with food and water and I will take away sicknesses from among you. And that is a promise of God. A lot of times we save for the rainy days, right? And that is correct. Savings is absolutely excellent. But did you know that when you invest in the kingdom of God, It is wise. Is it is wise as well? Nga naman, because nagsave ka karon, naginsurance ka karon para sa imong health. What if na ay sickness nga grabe, no nga murag mo 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 unsa? Dili covered sa insurance or kanang sickness nga pwede mo horot sa imong savings. No, God forbid it will not happen to our families in Jesus' name, and that's our prayer. Now, the principles of the first fruit would protect us from spending. No? Nga ka na bitang ikaw ka ron, mahimo na noon kang maposisyon, nga maut-ut. Nga, grabe ni mong trabaho. That's not the will of God. And everyone say, we have to claim it. Lord, ako dyan ang i-claim. Na I will grow. Kung magsakit man ta, ka na lang matambalan o kaya ra nga tambal no dili nang major major in Jesus name so gi rebuke na to na in the name of Jesus atong matag pamilya but again it's always a partnership with prayer and kita no obedience na to sa pulong sa Ginoo another blessing nga gisaad ni Lord is i will uh, there will be no miscarriages or infertility in your land it means that Your, your career, your work will continue to produce. Meaning, whatever you do, dili siya ma, ma, sana ataw-ataw. Imbis nag-expect na ka mauni imong harvest, ma miscarry ba? Ma naay ka ng, in the middle, na ay mahitabo, na dili ni mo madawat on say dapat para sa imo. No, the Bible declares that walay miscarriages o walay infertility in your land. Meaning, tanan ni mong itanom, mo ani ka, mo, mo, mo bunga siya. Ang tanan ni mong buhaton, mo prosper ka. And uh, another blessing the Lord sa iyang saad. I will give you a long, full lives. 
I will give you what? Long, full lives. There are people who live long lives, but not full. There are people who are old, but miserable. The promise of having a long, full life, it is when you understand your role in the kingdom. Lord, nga nung i-bless man ko ni mo, nga nung, uh, unsay pinaka-reason na nung i-mo kong i-promote, unsay pinaka-reason na nung itagaan ko ni mo business. And that is to be part of the expansion of the kingdom. Kung anak ka sa ginoo, ang pinaka-rason na nung i-bless ka sa ginoo is for you to be a blessing to others. It's never for self-consumption. It's never for para ako o akong mga anak. It's always, pag ang blessing magud mo overflow, nagpasabot na na kaya ni mo mo bless sa uban. Na pinaagi sa imong giving, so on the kingdom of God will expand. People will hear the word, will know the word, and will ma-reach out na to. Karon nga challenge na gihatag sa ito, ano, uh, nga ni Say Yes ta, uban sa nilang Pastor Rabambi, and uh, uh, atong volunteers, dako kani siya nga challenge. Nakita na mo na the children in conflict with the law, dili nila mabati ang gugma kung dili nila makita among paghatag. When we ka, when we go there just to teach the word, I think it would be it would uh, be kanang lisud mo sulod sa ilang heart, because ang language ani nga mga bata para mo sulod sa ilang heart is kung sila na ay madawat from us. So we're thinking of unsay atong ipasnak nila, unsay atong ma provide for them, unsay need nila for them to understand na in spite the sin yai lang nabuhat, pwede sila higugmaon. And of course, unsay kinahanglan na na? Kwarta. Ikson, pwede ba ka mo ingon? Nga pastor, ampuan lang nato ni sila. Sa outreaches na to, no? Pila ka mga bata, pwede ba ta mo ingon? O sige, mag-color-color lang ta dere. Nya, gigutumbya na. Kaya di mana pariha sa atong mga balay. So ang language nga masabdan sa mga tao nga naasa gawas is what we can give. And we cannot do that without money. Amen? And imagine, kami ang nasa full-time ministry, but because giver ka egsoon, we can do the job. Kay dili yun makaran ang ministry without money. Amen? So mauna siya nga, kanang, I am praying, no, nga masabta ni mo yun, na ang church dili siya mangwarta. No, kay kung kami palang pastor, ang tuyo na mo mangwarta, wala mi na mastor. Kay dili man yung ka mamilinaryo kung pastor ka. Negosyante ra may mamilinaryo. Amen? But you know, when when you look at your pastors and when past, your pastor would teach you about money, open your heart and understand that our goal is for you to be blessed. Kay ang ginoo man, God, wala mo yung muhatag ni Lord na magansi. Wag yun. Pangutan na ang mga tao nga ni hatag sa ginoo, monetarily. Muingon yun na sila nga Grabe gud ang Ginoo mo balik ko panalangin oy. Kanang makatestify gud ba? So my prayer is that dili tangtango na to na sa ngalan ni Jesus ang mindset bitaw nga sa amon church lagi sige ra mig kwarta. Bless kaayo mo kay every Sunday na atay 5 minutes maghisgot ko tithes and offering. 5 minutes ra na igsuon. No? I remind ang mga tao unsa ang tithes and offering. And it's not because no nga kanang uh, mangwarta ta no kay again no ang pagpamastor dili siya avenue para madato ta no and but ang pagpamastor avenue gyud siya para mahimo tang voice mouth para ma-bless og ayo more ang mga tao and i am praying nga kana gyud ang imong madawat og kana nga heart ang ma-produce sa atong mga kasing-kasing igsuon another blessing no in Exodus 34, verse 23 to 24, three times each year, every man in Israel must appear before the sovereign Lord, the God, the Lord, the God of Israel. I will drive out other nations ahead of you. Saad ni Lord no is ako mismo. Ako mismo mo pahawa sa imong competitors. Ako mismo mo mo tangtang sa tanang kuntra ni mo. A lot of times when you are, uh, you, you don't know kinsay pro or con ni mo. You don't know kinsay plastic or tinood sa imo ah. But did you know that when you're connected with God, you will know inside your heart kinsay tarong o kinsay tinood? 
It's the Holy Spirit guiding you, leading you. Ayog sali ganing nga person. It's the Holy Spirit who will tell you, do not do that. Do not do this. Kana siya, nagkuan rin na, di na tinudanay iya a. And you will know in your heart, unsay genuine, unsay tinuod. Kinsa may nagtrabaho, ana. It's God at work in your life. And God is saving us from, from a lot of scam or mess or wrong, wrong decisions in life. Because siya mismo mo yung nag-drive out sa mga tao nga dili dapat naa sa imong life today. I will drive out nations before you. Another promise of God is I will expand your territory. Expansion is the thing that only God can do. Pwede ka igsuon, dili na halos matulog para lang mo expand kung unsay naa ka. But I tell you, there are people who sleep at night and work so hard sa kinahanglan nga trabaho on, and they're expanding. Why is that so? Because they understand that there is a God who promised I will expand your territory. Your territory will speak of your name. Your name is a territory. Maybe when you talk today, like ako, when I talk, uh, 70 people would listen. But I believe that one day, God would expand my territory. That I will be able to, to talk and have influence and maminaw ang mas daghan na mga tao. Expanding your territory could mean you having a good name. It could mean you uh, buying mga properties. It could mean you buying mga kayutaan and uh, having businesses. Expanding your territory. So God is a God who promised to do that to us. And another promise of God is that no one will covet what you own. Walay pwede mo kawat kung unsay imo aig soon. And so many times, niya pastora, nakawatan man lagi ta ganin ang kadlaon. Ato arabag yun to. No? Ang, ang, ang principles in the Bible, dili sa siya mo bypass o kanang common sense ba? Like for example, abri man atong door. Mo nang nakawatan ta. Like for example, mana ta pastora, ah, uh, kanang walay pwede mo kawat unsay ako a ah. nya kuan man lagi nagka problema man lagi ko sa yuta mauni mauna maybe because ni buy kag something no dili na to pasanginlan ang Ginoo tanan a lot of times we make foolish decisions unya pasanginlan na to si Lord and everyone say amen so it's not the will of God na makawatan ta God is angry nga nakawatan ta today because our door is left open but definitely no kanang Ang, ang gusto sa Diyos is that mahimutang kampante na in spite or whatever will happen at ubangon na to, na agay Diyos igsoon nga nagsaad. Nga, Lord, this is for me, this will be for me. Unsay destined para na ako, ako agid na. Dili ka mabalaka sa ugma kay na ay Diyos nga nagsaad. And lastly, iyang saad in Ezekiel 44, The best of all first fruits of any kind and every sacrifice of any kind from all your sacrifices shall be the priest. Also, you shall give to the priest the first of your ground meal to cause a blessing to rest in your household. Now, this is amazing because when you honor God with your first fruit, God will cause a blessing to rest in your household. Your household will be blessed. For example, ikaw lang sa family ang nag first fruit, kaya ikaw rin nakasabot. Your wife will be blessed. Your children will be blessed. Your siblings will be blessed. Because household ang panalangin niya. There are families na matingala ka nga nung lisud man kaayon ni nga pamilya because cursed ang nagrest anak nga balay. And to overcome ang cursed anak nga balay is to understand the power of God at work. Kinahangla na ay member ana nga balay nga mubarog ug muingon siya that blessing will rest in my house. Dili na ni mahimong tinunglo nga balay sa ngala ni Jesus. And igsuon your first fruit would open the door for that. Ing ana ang first fruit offering o ang appearing before God three times each year. And my prayer is that you understand it and you will respond to it. No, our first fruit giving will be in the whole month of February. If karun pa ka nakasabot ani igsoon, you can set up no next Sunday or next Sunday to give your first fruit offering to the Lord. 
But my prayer is that you will not come empty-handed this year. You will not miss it. You will say, Lord, I want my year to be this blessed God. And I am, I am making that decision to fight against the works of darkness today.